Hi, uh, my name is Scott and I'm a graduate student in the American History program at the University of West Florida. And the reason that I chose history for my degree field was because, uh, you know, of course I love history just like every history major. And what I wanted to do with this uh, degree was to teach history and I wanted to write history. Uh, because uh, initially when I first started the program, uh, it was mostly reading and writing, so I had a lot of experience with this. I also teach English, uh, so I have a, a pretty good background in, in not only teaching, but also in, uh, in writing. But uh, one thing I found that I really enjoyed uh, as a graduate teaching assistant was uh, being able to teach history and being able to teach history as uh, a real teach history that uh, people don't know about. I think most people know about like George Washington and you know and Abraham Lincoln and all that kind of stuff. But I was really interested in uh, in going into history that's not usually taught: social history, history of movements, uh, uh, people's history. And because of this, uh, I really found this field really fascinating. I'm very happy with my degree choice. Some of the courses that I've taken in, uh, in American history are a uh, course on the Civil War, uh, courses on World War II. Uh, I took a, a few electives that weren't necessarily in American history, but uh, might touch on different parts of European history. Uh, uh, a big field in history right now is, uh, is Atlantic history, st Atlantic studies, and this deals with the connections between Africa, uh, South America, the Americas, North America, and um, and uh, England uh, to guess, to make a, a more broader history <laughs> uh, and show the connections between all of these different histories. Uh, probably some of my favorite courses were in uh, the. Uh, about the Haitian uh, Revolution uh, and the different revolutions that were taking place during the uh, 1700s, 1800s. Um, and I'm uh, currently working on my thesis right now. My thesis has to deal with the 1960s underground press uh, in Pensacola, Florida. And that's, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty big undertaking. Uh, and with the thesis, what it is is, um, you're really making a really, really long paper. Uh, this paper is uh, between 180 to 100 pages, somewhere around that length. Uh, and it varies in different uh, fields. As I mentioned, I have a degree in English too in, in my uh, thesis in English that, uh, that only need to be 25 pages. It ended up being about 50, but, uh, but it depends on the fields that you're going into. And with history, uh, about 80 to 100 pages is a standard length. And it's, uh, you're making a really long argument about why what you've decided to uh, focus your energy on is important and why this matters. Uh, my favorite part about the uh, degree program, favorite part of the degree program uh, is, uh, well honestly it's just the classes. Uh, everybody who goes into history, almost everybody who goes into history uh, uh, at the graduate level really loves history and is really uh, just in love with the, with the subject. So going into the classes, taking these classes, uh, is uh, just a really awesome opportunity to really dig, dig deep into this history, to talk about history with other people that like history, uh, and uh, to have the experiences and the, um, uh, and the wisdom of a lot of our professors um, you know, uh, be around a lot of really smart people talking about history. So it's really, really a lot of fun. Uh, and I would say probably, that's my favorite part, definitely is the classes. Uh, and also the books uh, are part of my favorite part. I like to uh, be exposed to a lot of the books uh, that, we're, uh, that we're reading. Uh, that's also probably the hardest part of the degree is how much reading you have to do. Uh, we had, I had some classes where we had uh, 13 to 15 books uh, within one semester and that wasn't the only class I was taking. Uh, what, and I wish that, uh, with this, I guess with that, and so I wish that maybe somebody had uh, prepped me <laughs> on how I can actually read uh, that many books in uh, in a short period of time. And I, I'd say that was probably the hardest part uh, is just how much reading we had to do. Um, all I did for probably about two or three years was just drink coffee uh, and drink coffee and read. Uh, and occasionally I slept, but uh, there wasn't much sleeping between there. And I just read, 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 and read many, many, many books. Uh, I love it. I'm glad I did it. But it was that was very difficult. Uh, I would say the best preparation for uh, for getting ready to go into graduate and in graduate studies in history is really 
is really learning how to read. Uh, you know, it, and it may sound strange. Of course, we all know how to read, uh, but being able to learn how to critically read uh, something and be able to read, uh, take notes, uh, and to be able to talk about what you read uh, afterwards. Uh, it's difficult to read an entire book in uh, in two or three days and then uh, to be able to come back and talk about it as if you're really knowledgeable about the subject. And it, it takes a lot of practice uh, to be able to learn how to uh, to read and critically, re cr critically read and then talk about uh, the work that you're reading. Uh, I would say that was one of the uh, that's one of the biggest things that you can learn. Uh, and also one of the other things that you can learn, one of the things that you practice, is uh, really writing skills. Uh, writing skills that are very important uh, his in history. In history, uh, if you pursue this as a master's degree, uh, work on your MA or PhD eventually, uh, what you're going to have to learn how to do is write and write really well uh, because you're going to read a lot and you're going to write a lot. Those are the two main things you do. It doesn't mean that when you go on for uh, after your graduate studies, that this that your job is just going to revolve around writing, reading, and teaching. There's many, many other things that you could do uh, with your degree afterwards. But uh, but being able to learn how to um, learn how to read a lot of texts in a pretty short period of time, uh, talk about it uh, with people afterwards, uh, and and then be able to write write about the work, write critically about the work, uh, and you know, come into this with an open mind too. Uh, when I first started the program, I had pretty set ideas on a couple of subjects that, uh, that changed you know, as I read more, as I learned more, and as I talked more uh, about these subjects with different people. Uh, so coming into this with an open mind, uh, really honing your writing skills, uh, and, and again, learning how to read critically is probably the, uh, the best advice that I can give you.